Hi guys, my name is Steven, and today I'll be reading Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24. Then Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to show him the building of the temple. And Jesus said to them, You not see all these things, surely I say to you, not one stone shall be left here upon another that shall be thrown down. Now as he sat at the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when will these things be? And what will be the sign of your coming and of the, and of the end of the age? And Jesus answered and said to them, Take heed that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive many. And you will hear of war, wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for all these things will come to pass. But the end is not yet, for nations will, will, will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will be offended, will betray one another, and will hate one another. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. And because lawlessness will abound the love of ma many will grow cold, but he who endures the end shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the wor world as a witness to all the nations, and them the end will come. Therefore, when you see the abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place, whoever reads, let him understand. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let him who is on the housetop not go down to take anything out of his house. And let him who is in a field, field not go back to it to get his clothes. But woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing babies in those days. And pray that your flight may not be in winter or on the Sabbath. For when there will be great tribulation such as such as has not been since the beginning of the world until the time no nor ever shall be and unless those days were shortened no flesh will be saved but for the elect sake those days will be shortened then if anyone asks you look here is the christ there do not believe it for false christes and false prophets will rise and show great signs of wonders to deceive if possible even the elect see i have told you beforehand therefore if they say to you look he is in a desert. Do not go out or look. He is in an inner room. Do not believe it. For as the lightning comes from the east and flashes to the west, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. For whenever the carcass is there, the eagles will be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from heaven and the power of the heavens will be shaken. Then a sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven, and all the tribes of earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the cloud of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send his angel with the great sound of trumpet, and they will gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of the earth and heaven to the other. Now learn this parable from the fig tree. When his branches had already become tender and puts forth leaves, you know the summer is near, so you also when you see all these things, know that it is near, at the doors. But surely I say to you, this generation will by no means pass away, till as these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will by no means pass away. But of that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angel of heaven, my father only. But as the days of Noah were, so also will the coming of Son of Man be. For as in the days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered the ark, and did not know until the flood came, and took them all away, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. Then two men will be in a field, one will be taken and the other left. Two women were, will be grinding at the mill, one will be taken away, the other left. Watch therefore, for you do not know what hour your Lord is coming, but know that if the master of the house has known, what hour the thief will come, he will watch and not allow his house to be broken into. Therefore, you also will be ready for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Who then is a faithful and wise servant? Whom his master made ruler over his household to give them food in due 
season. Blessed is that servant whom his master, when he comes, will find so doing. Assuredly I say to you that he will make him ruler over all his great things. But if that evil servant says in his heart, when my master is delaying his coming, and begins to be his fellow servant and to eat and drink with the drunk drunkards, the master of the servant will come on a day when he is not looking for him, and at that hour he is not aware of, and will cut him in two and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. Then shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Matthew twenty four. See you in Matthew twenty five.